I get the whole sob story with Link's grandmother. I've met her a bunch of times. She's nice. Once when we were little, she took Link, Jordy, and me to meet Santa at the Shadbush County Mall. If Link is doing this to please her, then he's barking up the wrong tree. Come to think of it, what tree is he barking up? My dad's company, Duros Construction, does roofing and roof repair all around Chokecherry and Shadbush County. Thanks a lot, Dad. The thing is, Swastika 2.0, the one on the baseball banner, is painted in roofing tar. So the cops come to our house and search the adjoining office and warehouse. Guess what they find? Roofing tar. Gallons of the stuff. Dad's a smart aleck about it. What do you want me to put on a roof? Bubble gum? Coleslaw? The meeting is in the library at 3.30 sharp. I tell the kids waiting in line at the used tray return in the cafeteria. You don't want to miss it. I don't know. Tabitha Willibrand makes a face. I've got plans at four. Some friends are going to the mall. Bring them along, I urge. We need everybody's ideas. We're going to decide on what to do about the swastikas once and for all. When she doesn't answer, I add, Link's going to be there. No way, she says flatly. Link Rowley, at a student council meeting? He personally promised me. And she upgrades her RSVP to a maybe. Let's get one thing straight. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for dinosaur poop. I'm not making excuses for myself or anybody else, but way back in the Jurassic period, some Stegosaurus went to the bathroom in our mountains. And a hundred million years later, Jordy Duros, Clayton Pouncey, and I are teetering across a darkened parking lot, struggling under the weight of an 80-pound bag.